हेलो हाय आदाब और सच एक बार फिर से आ गया हूँ मैं आप लोगों के बीच आपका अमराज आर जी अपना नाइनटी पॉइंट फोर मेगा हर्ट कम्युनिटी रेडियो नैनवाणी यानी कि ज्ञान की वाणी पर और आज लेकर आया हूँ आप लोगों के पास नोयो फैकल्टी में एक और फैकल्टी जो कि है अलाइड हेल्थ साइंस से उनसे हम कुछ सवाल करेंगे सर के बारे में जानेंगे और सर से उनकी फील्ड के बारे में ज्यादा बातचीत करेंगे आज जिनका नाम है डॉक्टर प्रसाद कुलकर्णी जो एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर हैं ट्रांसफ्यूजन मेडिसिन डीआईवाईपी इम्यूनो हेमोपैथोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट और एमडी पैथोलॉजी एफ आर एल टी एम एम सी शाइन से उन्होंने किया है इस वक्त वो हैं यहाँ पर अलाइड हेल्थ साइंसेस से तो सर से कुछ सवाल करते हैं उनका वॉर्म वेलकम करते हैं और शुरुआत करते हैं सवालों का सिलसिला सर कैसे हैं आप हाउ आई यू आई एम फाइन थैंक यू फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी इट्स काइंड वर्ड्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम सर सर आपके फील्ड से कुछ सवाल करता हूँ विच आज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली हाउ कैन इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन एंड एम्पथी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू पॉजिटिव पेशेंट आउटकम्स इन अलाइड हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल it's a good and a basic question for everybody hmm. communication is a integral part in patient health care and as a it's a, a true for all professions it mm-hmm. requires in hospital as in a situation with patient relatives as well as team members authorities hmm. while communicating with all these you should have proper uh, communication skill Uh, with effective communication uh, you can ensure trust and empathy towards each other uh, uh, patient know you and uh, even your team members trust you while what you are working okay my second question explain the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in allied health settings provide examples of how different healthcare professionals can work together to improve patient care we have different allied health care specialties hmm. uh, starts from anesthesia uh, transfusion medicine as well as uh, uh, diagnostic uh, areas in hospital scenario there are different specialties taking care of patients simultaneously amongst different specialties uh, you can uh, refer patients to each other and uh, differ, different pa- a single patient is taken care by multiple departments simultaneously hmm. for example a patient requires some operation then first visits to surgeon and uh, he he will be uh, looked by examined by uh, surgeon and then he asks some more diagnostic tests that patient will be referred to again radiology pathology, pathology. Hmm. in that area if you get some uh, diagnosis or any more information that doctors uh, op- op- can operate them for further uh, procedure then he will be posted for in a uh, op- operation in a hospital setup hmm. at that time he will be taken care by uh, anesthesia department for a pre anesthetic checkup okay and uh, uh, can be counselor come there hmm. to counsel about Uh, investigation as well as operative procedures ji on the day of operation he will be taken care by anesthesia department various staff nurse and all these are allied professions and Jee. after that post operative care like physiotherapy occupational therapy nutritional and uh, sometimes psychotherapy is required all these are allied professions allied professions so they uh, look after the patient in holistic approach holistic approach yes great How have recent technological advancement impacted allied health professions? Discuss specific technologies and their implications for patient diagnosis, treatment, and overall healthcare delivery. Nowadays, technology is in hand with all medical field. Yes. Innovations on the uh, uh, at so they are actually going on daily and daily. Daily, daily. So every specialty is supported by technology, but it should be uh, in skill hands. yes i uh, stress on skill hands because only machine is not important but skill entity individual behind that machine is important and uh, if you give that uh, machine to untrained person hmm. again it will be danger for the patient as well as all the setups resources will be uh, waste nowadays uh, i i am a pathologist so oh, yes Uh, from uh, initial days we read all cbc parameters but nowadays 
देर आर इनोवेशन सेल काउंटर्स फर्स्ट केम थ्री पार्ट ओनली डिफरेंशियल देर आर टेक्निकल दीज आर टेक्निकल टर्म्स स्टूडेंट्स में आर ओरिएंटेड विद दिस बट नाउ डेज फाइव पार्ट सिक्स पार्ट एनी फर्दर स्कोप इज देयर फॉर एनी रिसर्च एंड आर ऑल टूगेदर देर आर गिविंग मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ डेज ए आई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज देयर बट अगेन I stress on individual. Those are skilled in it, have orientation, and they are ready to operate this technology. So, technology as well as training, both are crucial in innovation as well as implementation of innovation in healthcare. Okay. Why is cultural competence important in allied health professions, and how can healthcare providers ensure they provide equitable and sensitive care to individuals from diverse backgrounds? Uh, we uh, call India as a diverse uh, diversity in yes, unity. Yes, diversity in unity. Yes. So, thing is that uh, we have different backgrounds, or some patients of uh, different religions. They have their own customs. They yes, have their yes. own routine. Hmm. So. while communicating with patients we should take this consider some uh, community have fast in uh, different uh, months or that while uh, com- uh, taking consideration of his appointments and all that we we take consideration of these things of cultural beliefs and we uh, everybody is um, have proud of their own customs and beliefs so we have to take consideration of these things while communicating with patients also okay so this is important uh, for the uh, good patient uh, relationship okay how can practitioners integrate the latest research findings into their clinical decision making process and why is this approach crucial for improving patient outcomes and that is the last question sir <laughs> okay so the uh, the thing is that uh, latest research is not only on the paper or not only the labs it should be beneficial for the human kind mankind hmm. so anything that is beneficial for the patient will come for the patient care and it will be implemented by medical professionals okay sir ek aur question aap se poochta hu what are some common ethical dilemmas faced by allied health professionals and how should they navigate these situations while ensuring patient welfare and upholding professional integrity so ethical dilemma is every uh, allied health profession has a specific uh, orientation to that subject hmm. that means he has a qualification he has a training of that specific considering uh, a pathology lab technician hmm. he can be assi- he can be assistant with pathologist or taking part of diagnostic work up but he cannot be replacement for radiology technician oh yes oh yes that means he should be knowing his own strengths as well as his limitations limitations yes there are high chances people will force him to do uh, the rep- also other stuffs other stuffs but at that time he should be firm than ethical enough i will not do this because this is not do, my domain this is my work actually this is not my domain <laughs> especially yes this is the main and uh, they can be uh, sure about the patient care hmm. in that field where they are trained oh great aaj prasad kulkarni sir the hamare sath unhone kafi zyada hame acche se baatein batayi aur bahut sare sawalon ke jawab diye jo ki especially काफ़ी ज़्यादा स्टूडेंट्स को हेल्प करने वाले हैं जो कि अलाइड हेल्थ साइंसेस के सेक्टर्स में हैं और इस एरिया में इस फील्ड में काम कर रहे हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच सर कि आप यहाँ पर आए आपने हमें कई सारी बात बताई थैंक यू मतलब हम लोगों को सर 90.4 पॉइंट फोर मेगा कम्युनिटी रेडियो पर थैंक यू सो मच